Hey there, welcome, how are you? My name is Edin, my beautiful wife Monda, together known as Hustle and Hooks, YouTube content creators about reselling primarily on Instagram as well. And today is of course Monday, which means it is time for what sold over the weekend, Friday through Sunday. Which is when we cover things that sold over the weekend. <laughs> Thank you for that clarification. <laughs> You're most welcome. Uh, also, we have to figure out who won uh, our friendly right. battle. So we'll cover that first. Yep, we're going to be doing that at the end. We'll spin the wheel of good fortune for someone. It's mm -hmm. going to be a random generator. So there's no bias or anything, even though I hope someone who voted for me won. Well, it's likely to happen. So here's the tallies. Here are the votes. Okay, Toddy got one vote. Ooh. That's our dog. Jessica got two votes, our daughter. Okay. Mona got a vote. I'm not sure who Mona is. Yeah. The fans got one, so that's pretty good. Uh, someone said I have awesome hair, so that's one vote for awesome hair. One for Melina. Again, I don't know Definitely who that me. is. Definitely uh, me. Potentially. Okay. And then here's the rest. I, I'm, I don't want to read all that out. You can see that <laughs> one of us has a lot more <laughs> marks. <laughs> so I got... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 38 votes. That's which good. That's very, good. very proud of. Strong. Uh, we have 10, 20, 33 for ties. Come on, guys. I, you could just vote for me for my awesome hair. No. Melinda, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 92 votes for Melinda. And you are all my favorite. <laughs> I dislike every single one of you. Even the votes that voted for me. Why didn't you get your family Levi's. to vote for you? Yeah, those Levi's, I think, cinched it, so... I think so, too. <laughs> nice. Nice little Hail Mary. Yeah. Uh, if you guys haven't watched that video, have no idea what we're talking about, go back. We'll link it in the description below so you can go check that video out. Thank you to everybody who voted, regardless of who you voted yeah, for. Yeah, for sure. But mostly thank you to the people who voted for me. You're all dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> We're gonna give away one brand new with tags Merrill vest for you guys to resell, keep, or gift. So hopefully you enjoy that. I think the value is about 40 to 50 bucks. So hey, on us. Let's get the clothing and shoes out of the way first. We sold this pair of Miss Me jeans. Nice bling there on the background. They're smaller. Smaller size, so that does take a little bit longer to sell sometimes. They're size 26. But in great condition, they sold for $40. We picked them up for six at our thrift. And we also sold this J brand pair of jeans. They are a flare leg jeans. And we sold this exact same pair. We picked up two of the same pair at the same time for uh, five at our thrifts a little while ago. The other ones sold fast. These ones had a lot of watchers and likers on Posh and Facebook. So finally, they sold on an offer for 34 free shipping on eBay. Next shoes. All of these next ones sold on Posh for $25 a piece. First, New Balances. These are more of a hiking New Balances. The treads are a bit deeper. And all of these, they pay shipping. We paid about six for these. These DBS skate shoes, just pretty cool. These are all in awesome condition. These we also paid about six for at our thrift. And then this pair of Crocs, they're neoprene water shoes. Very fitting that they've been sitting until summer. And we only paid about $4 for these and they're very light, but they're gonna pay shipping so we'll probably still just put them in a box. On eBay, we sold two more pairs of shoes. This pair sold for $25. It's free shipping. They might go first class. It's sort of borderline by the feel of them. I thought the style was good. They're Prevo by Clarks. I don't know that I would pick these up again. Uh, they sold on an offer, I believe. So it, they didn't sit very long, maybe a couple weeks. So that is something that's going for them. But either way, I'm happy to have them sell, happy to have them go to a new home. And then these Converse sold for $40. Very cool, a little bit more creative than your typical Converse. Uh, awesome condition, no dirt on there. They did take a couple months because they're a little bit more unique, but we picked them up for six and again, they sold for 40. So happy with that flip. 
I also have a bonus pair of shoes that I'm going to include in the video, but they won't be included in our sales because they sold Sunday night after midnight. So technically Monday morning sales, but I wanted to include them for those of you who aren't necessarily clothing and shoe resellers. If you aren't familiar with the brand, these are Fry boots. That's F R Y E. And let me find the symbol here for you. I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick this up, but they they're stamped. It's sort of like a double sword knife type of thing. Maybe it's supposed to be an animal. I'm not really sure, but that's the stamp. If you could see it and fry boots, short boots, tall boots, they sell very well. We had these in our store for less than a week and we listed them for 150. They sold for full price and they're going global. They're going through the global shipping program. Um, they're heavier. They're just very well made. Like you can, when you feel them and look at them, you can tell they're quality boots. And that's why they command such a high price resale as well. Retail, these are like $300, $400. So something to keep in mind if you're at your local thrift or at garage sales, that would be a brand that would be worth paying up for. Of course, always check your comps but definitely grab them and look them up before you leave. Here is, let's see if we can get this to focus. Here is the actual tag there on the inside. So there's Fry, you can see they're even leather on the inside. And then that will be where you find the size stamped in there. Hopefully that gives you something else to look out for when you're out this summer. And Adina's gonna come back. He's going to cover toys that sold this weekend. Wanted to capture some behind the scene packing footage. So if you guys are not familiar, this is how we do our shoes. We just wrap them in some craft recycled paper, pop them into these three USPS boxes. The fry boots will have to go into something bigger. Um, I don't think they're gonna fit a 12 by 12 because I really don't want to bend them. But yeah, that's it. So a little behind the scene getting them packed up. So here's how the shoes packed up. Those Crocs were very small. A regular shoe box just felt overbearing for those. They are posh, so we can put them in this box and it shouldn't matter with their labels. And then as you can see, we found a big box for those fry boots and we did stuff some bigger bubble wrap in there as well. We just wanna make sure that they get overseas safely. Notice a common trend is that we sell a good amount of jeans, shoes, toys, and video games, right? So. These are kind of the markets or these are the items that we are sourcing constantly because they're really good flips for us. So let's get into the toys and video games that sold this weekend. First up, Sports Resorts for the Nintendo Wii is an excellent game to sell by itself. But what we've started doing lately is when we have these extra Motion Plus adapters, we pair them up either two or one of them with the game. Increases the value, helps it sell faster. So this small bundle sold for $50 with free shipping and we have about $10 into it. Anytime you see Mario anything, definitely look it up. Mario Party 7 for the GameCube. I bought this with a bundle of Wii and a bunch of games all for $100 locally. This was in it. I actually ended up testing it on the Wii because it's backwards compatible with the GameCube. So Mario Party 7 for the GameCube sold for $80 with free shipping. 100% complete, really nice condition, excellent game to look out for. And one more Mario game, Mario Kart with one steering wheel sold for $38. Uh, we have about $5 into this as well. More video game stuff. So this came with another bundle that I bought for $100 a while ago. This sat in our store and I actually used Amazon to help me price it because I couldn't find a lot of comps on eBay. This is the 2011 version of Cabela's Dangerous Hunt. This is the game and this rifle, uh, toy gun all together. It was brand new sealed and I didn't know that when I bought it, which is awesome. That helped the value a bit. It sold for $100 with free shipping and it'll ship uh, in a 20 by 14 by six box for probably around 10 to $14, depending on where it's going. You've seen us sell a lot of these guitars. Here's another set of two in good working condition. They sold for $100 with the game, which I forgot to pull. So I'm gonna have to go back and grab it. Adding the game definitely helps the value a little bit and it also just gives the opportunity for whoever is buying it to go ahead and plug and play so they don't have to buy it separately if they don't have it. So if you buy these bigger bundles of video games, always keep those types of games to the side where you can pair them up with the actual 
um, guitars or drums or whatever later. Next up, this Hudson Hornet from the Disney Pixar animated movie Cars. So this is their Geotrax edition. Just the remote and the car by themselves sold for $40. It did take a little bit to sell it. Looking for the right buyer. This was a rarer piece to find both working condition together. So that worked in our favor as we were able to ask for a higher price than if there were you know, a lot of these available and not a lot of them that sell. So that sell through rate, we definitely use it constantly to help us with pricing. This came from a big lot of Geotracks. We're almost sold out of everything. So definitely a good buy. If you see big Geotrax lot, make sure that they have these remotes and cars in them. That's going to help the value a ton when you're reselling it. These uh, folks here, uh, five figures, 1990s. I think these are 1993 to 1995 from the Precious Family Dollhouse thing. A couple of videos ago when we went garage sale and we found the house and a box of these toys. The Dollhouse already sold for 90 shipped and another set sold on Facebook. These guys went for $30 and they're going to pay for shipping. From that same garage sale haul video, we got another Lego set that sold. It should be 100% complete, although I always write if I'm not sure. Uh, for transparency's sake, we're going to call it 95% complete in the description. That way I'm protected. But I'm pretty sure it is. I just didn't go through and disassemble the entire thing just to verify. Anyways, we paid only $5 for this and it sold for $40. Definitely look out for Lego stuff if you see it when you're looking at garage sale pictures the day before. Focus in on it because Lego sell really, really well on eBay. This last one is my favorite of this haul. It's the Wild Cougar Off-Road Vintage 90s. Um, really beat up condition, no batteries, missing the battery cover here, the antenna is falling apart and still sold for $40. Shipped. Uh, shipping will be about 10 to 15 depending on again where it's going. I think this is going to Indiana which is great. But the best part is that we got this for free and this is from a big lot of RC cars we got for free off of Facebook Marketplace and we've already sold about $250 in gross if not more. So definitely happy to see this go. Again, make sure you call out if there's any issues with it. In this one, we called it for parts or project or repair, and people still buy them because they want to play with them. And there's a huge RC community that loves this as a hobby. We're going to pack this stuff up. Mona's going to come back and cover some odds and ends, housewares, parts, and whatever else we sold. So what Mona just did, this is how we uh, ship our jeans. So we pull in poly bags and then... Lay them as flat as possible, put them in these uh, flat rate envelopes for 718. This is the RC car. I did have to customize this box slightly for it. The guitars are in here, and then the video game, the big hunter thing is down here. Everything else is in uh, padded mailers or wrapped with bubble wrap and put in these bags. Bags. <laughs> That's all of that. So Mona's coming out on to show you guys the next batch of sales. And I'm back to cover one of our favorite categories, housewares. I have a couple part sales, meaning we parted out the machines. So we only have a few dollars into each of these. This is a Breville replacement. It's the cleaner brush and the part, you know, that it goes in, spins the juice, strainer. That sold for $28. We have another one of these uh, Cuisinart sets where the stem is uh, interchangeable between these two. These sell pretty quick for us. This particular set sold for $30, free shipping. This is a coffee piece. Um, it comes with a filter inside. It's just a replacement piece for a Breville coffee maker, sort of a fancier coffee maker, obviously. And this sold for $29, again, just a few dollars into this. Sticking with a coffee theme, this is brown. We've sold this a few times now on our What Solds, and they're great little blenders. It's for whole beans. You put the whole beans in and it ground, grinds it up. Great brand, um, they're, it's a German brand. And this we picked up for $7 and it sold for $39. Some of these browns are rarer. You always want to check on the bottom, see where they're manufactured. Some of them will indicate West Germany and that makes them much more valuable. So always check the model numbers on those and where they're made. This is a Farberware, but it's a modern Farberware, obviously. It's a really big um, Dutch oven style dish. Pick this 
up for $5 at our local Goodwill and it sold for $43. And these are a fun one. We really like this one. These are Andrew Pierce, just large salad serving utensils. These were free in a bunch of boxes that a neighbor let us pick up. Um, we were breaking them down for storage and these happened to be in there. Turns out they sell really well and they sold for $40. So free into 40, we'll take that all day. The last one I have is an older electronic. Obviously this is not housewares, but this is our only Etsy sale from the weekend. You've seen us sell these on Etsy before. It's a great site for vintage VHS players and vintage electronics in general. Uh, this one, just the VCR, and it's sold for $65, free shipping. We have one more segment. Adina will come back and he'll wrap up the rest of the sales for this weekend. All right, here's all of that stuff packed up. This bottom one, custom box for that Farberware. This one is the VCR. The spoons, these are wrapped uh, in a box. So sort of like a sushi roll cardboard around them so that they don't break in transit. And just your regular boxes and bubble mailer. Before I get into the last of the what solds, I have three that already shipped and one local. The local was another one of those Hamilton Beach sandwich makers. Someone paid us $18 cash locally, came and picked it up. Two of these Magna books sold. This was pretty crazy. I, I found how many? 12 of them for 50 cents each at a thrift store, and we've sold almost $400 worth. They're all gone now. They sold really fast. One copy sold for 75, and the other one sold for 25. Those are the ones you're seeing popped up. Those were already shipped on Friday. And this Volkswagen cargo organizer that I had from a Volkswagen lease a few years ago was just sitting in the garage, so I listed it for 27 bucks, and it sold. So I'd call it free, but I lost a lot of money leasing that stupid thing. So that was not free. That $27 is going to go towards the thousands of dollars I lost by being an idiot and leasing a car. The next three are all viewer sales, so thank you guys so much. We really do appreciate it. You guys are supporting our small business. Um, from both Mona and I, bottom of our hearts, thank you so much for supporting us. Let me show you guys what those were. This first one from Melinda's haul video. Uh, this one sold for $30 of free shipping, a little Furby guy that she picked up, so thank you. This one was bought by PBJ Mom. This is for her son, so thank you so much. I hope he enjoys it. Um, these things creep me out, so hopefully they don't creep him out. Next are these vintage uh, Betty Boop floor mats. Uh, these were bought by Melanie. She reached out to us and asked uh, if she could have them or to purchase them. So thank you so much. They sold for $50. They were also for that garage sale haul video that we did just a couple of days ago. Next up, this vintage cake tin that we picked up. Again, for that garage sale video. Uh, this is going out to Angela. Angela has bought from us before, so thank you so much, Angela. We really do appreciate it. She's going to use it to decorate her home, which is pretty awesome. And another set from the garage sale video. These are all uh, DVDs from the WWF and WWE. These are going out to Momo. Momo, we really do appreciate you. He bought all these for $100. He's getting The Rock, brand new sealed. Stone Cold Steve Austin, brand new sealed. This is probably the most valuable. It goes for about 30 to 40 by itself. This Best of Raw, which is a pretty awesome one. Some funny moments. WrestleMania. And then also he's getting this six-pack Stone Cold Steve Austin six-pack of Attitude, which we realized afterwards that it has a brand new t-shirt inside of it as well. So thank you again, Momo. We'll ship these out today. The last sale I'm going to cover is not a viewer sale. It's just this lot of DVDs. We don't usually deal with DVDs, but I found this locally for $20, a, a whole bunch of them. And I sold them on Facebook Marketplace for $15 plus shipping. But what I did in between that is I plucked the ones that were valuable, some Star Wars, um, Lord of the Flies, Indiana Jones series, and those have already sold and we have a couple more sets that are for sale. So it's just an easy double, you know, money doubler. So the ones that were not so valuable, we just flipped back instead of trying to get two, three dollars each for them. It's just a quick flip and again, just a quick doubler. That's it for all of the sales. We're gonna come back to do all the numbers. We're gonna get this stuff wrapped up first. Okay, so we're just on commonpicker.com. We did filter duplicate users. There were 205 people to, that uh, are eligible. So we're gonna go ahead and start. And KMC0728. I can vote for you both. I love your channel and have learned a lot from watching your content. 
you win congratulations uh we will put our email down below in the description box so email us or go to instagram at hustling hooks find us there send us a message and we'll ship out your west thank you again thank you if you guys made it so far into the video we really do appreciate it if you haven't subscribed to our channel do consider it it just helps us grow our channel and then if you enjoyed the video click the thumbs up button it just again boosts our video performance for youtube we would appreciate it thank you let's go through the numbers yeah so this weekend we sold 1386 dollars total um it was a little lower again mm -hmm. this weekend a little higher than last week but what we've noticed is there's actually less people buying on the weekends during the week on thursday we sold almost 900 dollars just that one day so i mean had that been friday we would have had a killer sales weekend right and then today is monday before lunchtime we've already sold like 500 dollars. Mm -hmm. so again ebbs and flows so maybe it's not the summer slow to slow down as much as the summer switch up where people are buying more during the week than on the weekends when they're outside or up north what have you so i like how you say up north like everyone's going to relate uh what she means by the, yeah in michigan most people go to the north in their cabins or during the summer for you guys that don't live in michigan which is probably most of you yeah it's a thing <laughs> it's a thing anyway um so out of that we subtracted 199 dollars for shipping yep we pay shipping on most platforms except for on uh, poshmark they pay for shipping and then on some facebook orders they paid for shipping we took out 194 dollars for fees yep and we took out 158 dollars for the cost of everything that we sold yeah so um, almost 10 times so like eight and a half times our initial investment in gross which is pretty good yeah so before taxes that leaves us with 853 dollars of net profit that's not bad I'll not bad that. at all yeah for three days of sales that's pretty yeah, darn good for sure uh we have to wrap it up quickly it's uh, about 4 30 post office closes at five so we got to run and deliver Melinda's gonna go pick up some pots and pans i'm gonna go drop off the stuff uh thank you guys so much uh, especially if you guys joined us during the premiere um if we were able to answer some questions that's awesome and, and thank you guys again for shopping us and supporting our small business yeah and as always take care you guys